My name is Mary Jansen and I'm the Children and Family Services Director at EPI. Well, EPI is an agency that's been here um, for over 60 years, and we actually serve all ages of life, um, especially right now because we just opened a child care center. A big part of our agency is adults with disabilities, so we have a, a large population where we're serving adults in that have a disability in a group home, in a group setting. We also have a day hab program that allows those adults to go into the community and be active. And then we also have a children's program, which is our children and family services. Um, department where we primarily work with child care providers to improve the quality. We have um, in the last five years determined that Iowa is in a true child care crisis. It's actually not just Iowa, it's actually all, all states. The nation is facing this. What we know is that number one, child care is not a high paying field. Um, we know that providers are leaving the field to get a job that has benefits and higher pay. Um, we also know that the regulations are tough for folks to to jump into and are just wanting to not even go through all the hoops. So at EPI, we have always had a strong relationship with Hawkeye. Um, within our child care resource and referral department, we work closely with the current center that's out on campus. We've done grants, we've done multiple partnerships with Hawkeye. So we've always had a great relationship with them. They approached me and said, we're really looking at a partnership for this new center downtown. Do you have some ideas on what we can do? And I went to the meeting thinking, yeah, let's Let's think about partnerships and let's think about businesses. I literally listed off businesses that we could start talking to. A few days later they called me and they said, would you guys be the partner? And I immediately said yes. As the partnership has um, gone into place, what our goal is is to you know, serve EPI staff, Hawkeye staff, and students. So we give that those groups of people first priority, but we also open it up to the community. Receiving that startup dollar from Community Foundation was really showing that, first, their true investment in this project, that the board and the staff here know the true crisis, and so they were really wanting to invest into this project, but also that they believed our two agencies were gonna make this work and be a good um, good project together. That's why I've been there for so long because they really allow their employees to spread their wings and fly, you know, and find their passion and, and do um, great things. But I think that childcare piece for them has been so important because our jobs, I mean, the nonprofit world is tough, you know, you're in it for why you love it, but how can they help their staff um, be comfortable in the childcare side of it, where they know their children are safe, and then also come to work and thrive even more. Childcare has always struggled to be, um, we've always struggled to elevate that conversation because I think it's just always been a misconception that I don't think people think it's as important as it is. So at our agency, we've always tried to elevate that conversation. And, and once the coalition really formed, and really once Kay and Community Foundation became involved, I feel like our partnerships with businesses just elevated even more. Part of EPI's mission is connecting people. So it's right in our mission e immediately, connecting people, creating opportunities, and that is exactly what we do. And I think that's exactly what this coalition has done. Um, I've always loved that part of our mission because it's one of my favorite things to do is connect people. But I think that's exactly what that coalition does is it's not one person doing everything, it's a whole community of folks addressing the need and working together. We really started that child care center and the partnership to meet the needs of our staff and our students at Hawkeye Community College. But the other main reason is to help the crisis. I mean, we're meeting the need of the child care crisis by adding 56 more slots to you know the Cedar Valley, but also providing quality child care. We know our children, this is the most crucial part of their life from birth to five. We gotta prepare them for school. So that's really a, one of our missions is, hey, if we're a part of that village that's raising them and helping prepare them for school and life, um, then we're doing everything right.